Hi, honey. How's your day? Morning. First of all, my bad. I've gone through this whole thing recently. I don't want to bore you. Short version. I'm really trying to do work on some stuff. This is a definite setback. Although, in fairness, you really did make it tough. Phantom pain, your missing arm. Five different kinds of painkiller in your medicine cabinet. This magic box of neurological trickery is for <clears throat> It should be a lot easier if you do what the crazy guy who tied you up says. Put your hand in there. Put your hand in there. Now look. Mirror magic. Your arm is back. Now clench both your fists at the same time. Clench. Real hard. You believe in God. Pray that this is gonna work. You might also want to ask him why you blew off your arm. <laughs> Ready? Now let go. I've been in pain, and it's finally gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. I need you to open a door. It's not allowed. Yeah, I, uh, I was having therapy in here today, and uh, I left my cane. Sorry. Dude, I'm crippled. Well, you better listen, my sisters and brothers. Because if you do, you can hear there are voices still calling, and there are people still in darkness, and they just can't see the light. If you don't say it's wrong, then that says it's right. None of us are free. None of us are free. None of us are free. One of us are chained. None of us are free. 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 One of us is chained. None of us are free. This is total crap. If she was seeing a psychiatrist, I'd know. If she was on drugs, I'd know. Mrs. Bradbury, please sign the form so we can start the dialysis. But why antidepressants? I don't understand. Mrs. Bradbury, please sign the form so we can start the dialysis. Stop saying that. Dr. Buffer, what is going on? What aren't you telling us? He's a janitor? More significantly, a blabbermouth. House, shut up. I am very sorry how Dr. House handled this. It is completely unforgivable. You, uh, never expressed a shred of regret for what happened to your mother? She's oh, dead. If you'd have worn a damn rubber, you'd have been fine. You could have saved her life. You wouldn't be lying here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. You're really mad at him for killing himself and for destroying everything you love. I don't have time for this. Are you going to apologize? I'm living my life the way I want. Are you going to give me some blood? Look, if he doesn't give a damn, then neither do I. OK, option B. Why did your wife kill herself? Did she hate you? She was a diabetic. You know, you don't know a thing about my Susan. Either Susan wanted to die, or she was both fat and stupid. Used a Twinkie instead of a gun. 
And girls with big appetites, well, they just can't get enough of any. Shut up. Probably nibbled on every devil dog in the county. Shut up! In case I'm not making myself clear, I don't mean the delicious snack. You son of a bitch! Ah! Yeah? Come on! Thank you. That means I can do this. We're gonna need some epi in here, stack! Are you out of your mind? You said you didn't care. Notice how you can't breathe? Now, either that's the cane, or I just ruptured one of those liver cysts we were chatting about. And you've gone into anaphylactic shock. Exactly the same way your son did when he accidentally tripped against my friend's car. And I'm just so excited to find out which. I'm gonna schedule surgery. Did you issue this memo? Look at that. Congratulations. The patient that has been in a coma for two years and counting is still in a coma. This is not my signature. I don't know anything about this guy. I'm supposed to introduce him? Have lunch? The coma patient has a migraine? Oh, no, no, no. You know, I gave him medication to prevent a migraine. That's a migraine. Increased flow velocity in his cerebral arteries. I did subsequently give him nitroglycerin, which could possibly... You induced a migraine headache in a coma patient? Give him a little headache. Similar to the one you're giving me now. Have you even read an ethical guideline? Well, it'd be wrong to try out a new migraine prevention medication on someone who can actually feel pain. Did you sign this? Uh, yeah. We can talk later about the appropriate discipline. Right. I feel much better. You want another one? I think I've had enough. What do you think I should do today? I don't know. Go home? Not tonight. Cheers. When I'm with you, all my brothers oh, I feel like a kid. You dosed me. Yes, I did. But only because you didn't trust me. Your best friend. You could have killed me. Fetamines are going to kill you. You don't know my medical history. I, 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 I could have. You could have given me a heart attack. Well, a heart attack is not going to kill you. You were in a hospital. Mm -hmm. Aha! You yawned. Aha! Uh -huh. You tried to kill me. I put you on uppers, and you still yawned. It means it's a symptom of being a big, fat liar. Yawning is a side effect of some antidepressants, apparently the ones you're on. I'm not on antidepressants. I'm on speed. Well, you look cheery. What's going on? The heartache and Chen Lupino babies. Their kidneys are shutting down. And the urine tests show no casts. Which means the antibiotics are causing the kidney failure. You're the nephrologist. Which one did it? We'll take them off that one. 
Don't tell me both vancomycin and aspirin. They both can cause this. There's no way to know which one it is. No test. We can't take them off the antibiotics. They'll, they'll die of the infection. But if we leave them on both the antibiotics, they'll die of kidney failure. So we take our best guess then. Which drug's causing the kidney failure? It's like I said, it's always MRSA in hospitals. Take them off Astrian now. I still think it's the pseudomonas. I vote to take them off the vancomycin. There's no point in guessing. Take one kid off vancomycin, the other off astrinam. They have the same disease. You want to give them different treatments? What the hell are you doing? Therapeutic trial to find the cause of the infection. That's wrong. We have four sick kids, at least. Who knows how many more haven't started showing symptoms yet. We have a duty to these two. If these two have different reactions, we'll know how to save the rest. So you're condemning one of these kids to die based on random chance? I guess I am. 